this is Rob from robcoven.com. I'm here to show you how to control a WordPress website using the categories in the blog function and also custom fields. This is a site that I've done called schmoozefm.com and uh, we're going to find out how we can control the front page uh, via the back end. So you log into the back end of the WordPress site um, with your WP admin URL and your username and password. And on the left hand side here you want to look at the pages and posts. I'll come back to the posts in a minute. The pages are the static elements of the site. Pages like the about page, don't worry about the blog page, um, facts, and again, don't worry about the home page, but uh, basically pages that are on every page. Here is the facts and here is the about page. They are the static pages and uh, you can edit them by going into the page, um, clicking on edit, and if you wanted to update the text, you can just do it in here and click update and the page will change. So that's the pages, but the dynamic area of the site, um, be it the blog posts or the deals on this site, will be controlled via the posts area in WordPress. So here you have blog posts, and you can see their category is blog. Um, but here you have Tough Stuff Zimbabwe, which has the category of current loan. Now that is because this one is on the home page. If you go to the home page, you have Tough Stuff Zimbabwe there, and it is a, a loan deal. So I'll go into that one now and show you how to update that information which appears on the front page. But what's very important is that you remember to create this as a category of current loan. Um, if it is in current loan or current equity and it is the most recent post then it will automatically I've set it up to automatically go on to the home page so as this is a current loan and it's the only one at present then it is by default it's going to be the home page post and if you wanted to edit any of the text here it's you can do so in the same way but there's a few more custom fields that you can edit to change little things like the countdown timer here and the key facts and also at the bottom uh, the independent accountants view and the verdict. In order to control these you can scroll down and look for where it says custom fields and they're all here under custom fields. So if you notice that the countdown actually says minus one days left to go. If you wanted to uh, extend that for another week, um, today's date is the 12th, so um, if I put in the 18th there, uh, on the month is 3 March and the year is 2011, you click update there and update there. And then when you refresh the home page, it'll say six days left to go. So there's an example of how you can control what's going on on the home page uh, via the custom fields, but I'll come back to those later. And one more area to explain um, that you can control on the home page is the excerpt. As you can see here is your excerpt. You should always do about that amount of text for a new deal because that excerpt appears here. And this is a fixed height um, and if you do a bit too much then it will go over and hit this button here. And if you do a bit too less it will, like one line, it won't look so good. So always do about that much amount of text for the excerpt. And the only other thing that needs to be explained about the um, home page is the image. But I'm going to make a create a new deal in WordPress uh, to show you how to 
um, change the home page to another deal. So we're going to make another deal here. So as I said before, in the categories, it either has to be current equity or current loan, and it will be the most uh, recent post. So I'm going to write a test here, test, test, uh, current loan. Um, we need to put some text in here. Just grab some text and put it in. Already. Also, remember I said you need to put a few lines in for the excerpt, that much text for the excerpt. Um, as you're doing this, if you want to if you want to save it, you can save draft, and it won't appear on the home page. It won't appear anywhere. It's just saved as draft, so you can save your work and uh, go away and come back to it at a future date. Um, let's do the image now. So, in order to put the image there on the home page, you go set featured image here. And then you can choose any image that you have on your hard drive, um, on your computer. Make sure it's a landscape image as opposed to a vertical portrait image, uh, because WordPress crops this automatically and it does it in the most obvious way. Don't worry about that crop because that won't be the crop as it's going to be more of a landscape crop. Um, but. It is a good idea for you to put in the title, put that in the name of the company in the title and in the alternate text uh, something, uh, maybe the name of the company or something describing the image. Delete the link URL. You want to click use as featured image but then you must remember to save all changes at the end uh, otherwise it won't keep the um, title and alt text changes that you made. So you can close that window and then you've done the image. So now you need to do the custom fields. You've done text, excerpt, image and lastly you've got to do the custom fields. You don't have to do all of them but um, it's very important that you do do the countdown otherwise that um, is going to say some gobbledygook like minus thousand days for the deal to do. I'm going to do a date in April. You have to do all three I'm afraid. You have to do the year as well. Um, and if we go down to the bottom um, there is the verdict. I think if you do these you don't have to do them but if you do one it's good to do the other one on its side because uh, they'll look a little funny on their own. So there's the independent accountant's view as well as the verdict. So the independent accountant view is account view. We'll say good for that. Uh, and then on the right hand side the key facts there's quite a few here. Deal type, funds required, blah blah. Um, there's your deal type. I think we said this one was going to be equity. You have to enter that even though you've chosen the um, category. Actually, we meant current loan. Let's make it current equity anyway. Um, you, you also have to fill this out in the custom field. And let's do one more for luck. Uh, funds required, let's say $1,000. Uh, you, you'll have to do at least two, otherwise they'll look a bit strange on their own. Because even if you don't do any custom fields, you'll still get this box saying key facts. So it is important to do um, two or three of them at least. Uh, but if you don't do some of the key facts, then they won't appear. So don't need, no need to do all of them. Um, but that is it. You have to remember to do seven things. Title, text, excerpt and custom fields, the category, and the photo. And then you can click publish. And once that's saved, the home page will look completely different. The picture has changed, obviously, the countdown has changed. 
Uh, there's the two key facts we entered and also those two down the bottom here. So that's how you change that. If you go onto the blog, um, you will see that your old deal, the Tough Love Zimbabwe, has now disappeared. So it's very important that you go back to your old deal that has just been knocked off the home page and you edit it, there it is, and you change the category because at the moment it's in a current deal but it needs to be archived. So if you put it into the archive deal and update, refresh, you'll see that Tough Love Zimbabwe now has popped up as a recent deal. So, that gives you some idea of how to use WordPress um, with featured images, categories and excerpts and custom fields in order to control a website from the back end. I hope you enjoyed that. This has been Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.